Okay guys, I've got my flash on here so I can kind of show some of the detail here. The counter is finished. And this is my first large pour. I do have a couple imperfections, but uh, you know, this is in a commercial application. This sucker's gonna get thrashed anyway. I don't know, We're, we'll see. So, like I've told you guys, this is all wood from my property. Um, everything, the, the border, um, the inlaid cedar here, uh, except the, the plywood. I bought the plywood base for this countertop at Home Depot, of course. And this is the way it looks. I own a campground, so I kind of wanted this to be a camping theme. Um, so I in, inlaid these little old school pictures in here. And this was kind of fun. Let's see here. Look, you can look down in there. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Look down into there. I don't usually use a flash, but this is working out really well for this particular project. So. And they're not wormholes. They're actually eat. All these holes are created by carpenter ants. Those big, ugly black ants with the wings on them that fly around here. Um, and uh, anyway, so it turned out pretty nice. There's a little bit of dust on this. This thing's been setting up here for a couple days. Yeah, I love that picture. That one's pretty cool. So I figured I'd put that kind of in the middle. Now, I didn't want to go too crazy with these inlays. Actually, honestly, I... I planned this to have a few more in here, but when I made the first little sealer pour, I stuck some of these inlays on top just for placement to see how I'd like it. And I was him hawing around with it, and then I went to peel a couple of them up, and the epoxy was pulling up with them, and I was afraid of ruining that, so I actually just left them in, because I actually kind of thought it was pretty without them. So, anyway, this is the, uh, the counter. And I left the saw. This is the, this is the end cut piece that we, um, um, had when we, when we cut this thing down with the chainsaw. And here's my imperfection. Right here on the very end, it kind of gave me kind of a little crinkly finish. Right there. Um, but other than that, looking, looking pretty darn good. Isn't that cool? I used uh, about a gallon and a half of this stuff. The... Um, I don't want to set anything on here yet, but the uh, Park Super Glaze. Um, you can get this stuff at Home Depot, and it's like 25 bucks a pack. And both of these together create a quart. I use like six of these packs, almost seven, because I have I had to use a little bit of another one. So now um, if uh, you know, I calculated this out. Um, to be about 1.4 gallons and it came out just to be just a hair over a gallon and a half so um, If you're gonna do a big pour um, I actually Would advise you to buy an extra pack or two. You could always take them back You don't want to run out of this stuff in the middle of a pour All right So thanks for watching. That's the the big project is done my countertop for the office. Thanks for watching.